सब बैनर्जी ऑन द फोन एंड आप इनके बात तो सुन लीजिए मिस्टर खानकर इनके बात सुन लीजिए प्रोफेसर बैनर्जी ऑन द फोन लाइन ही इज विद आई आई टी ही ऑडिटेड द रेलवे ब्रिजेज इन द सिटी ही कैन गिव अस एन एक्सपर्ट ओपिनियन ऑन द कंडीशन ऑफ द ब्रिजेज इन द सिटी प्रोफेसर बैनर्जी थैंक यू सो मच फॉर ज्वाइनिंग अस राइट नाउ यू आर पार्ट ऑफ द टीम दैट ऑडिटेड द सिटी ब्रिजेज वर इन टेरेबल कंडीशन दे वर पोस्ट दैट ऑडिट दे वर फिक्सड एलेजिडली could this have happened if the bridge was actually fixed properly professor banerji yeah so i think there are two issues here yes uh, one is uh, you know when a when a bridge uh, is uh, in in distress one needs to find out why the bridge is in distress and whatever repairs are to be done has to have to fix that distress problem you know in in in, in bombay most of what happens is there's huge amount of pollution and therefore there's corrosion okay and and so therefore these are the issues that need to be addressed and so whatever repairs are done need to address the the distress rather than uh, you know uh, for example if there are cracks if there are fixed cracks are fixed uh, if there's corrosion inside those cracks will not remain fixed so that's what i'm trying to say that it's very important that repairs actually address the basic issue rather than the uh, issue that we is visible yes and uh, i i just want you to explain to our audience one thing if you would professor uh, this this whole idea of the politician of the from the representative of the bjp telling us that we'll have to look into the repairs and then we'll have to find out if there was corruption involved obviously if a team like yours had uh, audited these bridges and said that there are bridges that need repair right now if it weren't for corruption could this have happened uh i would i would say no comment on that because you know i am a professor i am not a i am an engineer also i can actually only address the issues see of of that in the sense that you know if if, if people engineers i'm i'm only going to talk about the engineers as such mm. if the engineers understood what the what the basic problem was and the repairs are done to fix that basic problem i think there shouldn't be any issue I okay mean, so let me rephrase the question then professor um, for a city like mumbai that has the access and the budget uh, allowances that it does have and we can see from the live visual that's coming in that now the rest of those slabs are also being torn down uh, but tell us this do you believe that the engineers working on our city do not have have the ability to be able to really audit a bridge and understand what repairs are really needed can i can i make a statement here please do it, what happens is the number of engineers uh, compared to the stock of bridges is extremely inadequate mm. you know you, you see the issue that is if you have two engineers and they are supposed to look at 100 bridges obviously you know they cannot do it so i think that so the money is not an issue in my mind i think it's very important that the bridges department uh, needs to have sufficiently large number of engineers okay. understand okay. bridges that, i think that's very important structure right in fact subhash desai uh, uh, professor I, i will come yes please discuss so professor banerji one more time professor pradeep sa banerji is with the uh, with iit bombay if you look at the live visual uh, professor banerji we that there, there is uh, this uh, you know a large uh, you know earth mover there that's actually tearing down the remaining concrete slabs as well so obviously this this it's going to be a while before this bridge is anywhere near being used so this this means that the entire bridge right now is unfit for use is that what that means yeah i mean okay let me put it this way yes we 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 uh, i mean i've been hearing a lot you know what happens is we move from disaster to disaster yes okay in between disasters we tend to forget Uh, and i think that's one of the key issues that is there because you know uh, it's when we have a disaster we talk about it immediately everything is torn down okay and 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 then we go back to being uh, again till the next disaster uh, you see uh, let me tell you i've been i've been tasked by the way this is not a bridge because this is part of the bmc i've yes. only been looking at uh, bridges which are on the railways portion Yes. You know, I have been asked to tackle 445 bridges, okay, in a three-month period. So this mm. is this is impossible. It's impossible because to make any kind of and that's what I keep 
saying that if you want to do any kind of realistic assessment, okay, uh, every bridge should be looked at at least three, four days. Okay, I mean, because you know, you otherwise what happens is you just keep moving from bridge to bridge and you just look at visual clues. And visual clues, obviously, I've been hearing that there were no visual clues. Okay, I'm sure there were visual clues that can be seen by structural engineers, but there were no obvious visual clues. Okay, and that's, I think, one of the issues that I keep thinking that we, when we don't have visual cues, we think the bridge is safe till the bridge falls down. And then we say, oh, we should have looked at it before. You know, nobody looks at it between disasters. Okay, that's something that is fundamental to our way of life. You know, we do not, uh, you know, put any value on human life in India. And that's the reason why safety is not an issue uh, till we get to a disaster. And that's when everybody talks about it. And then everybody moves on. Absolutely. Uh, KT Ravindran joins us as well. He's an urban planner and he understands uh, and, and has also attempted to work with the government at several counts to improve the situation of urban planning in the city. Mr. Ravindran, uh, do you see this?